Okay, so now that we've got our Unity project set up with the Universal Render Pipeline, let's go and get the Houdini Engine installed just so we have everything up and running. It'll really be the last step in getting our development environment all working. Okay, so let's jump back into Unity and check it out. Okay, so to get the Houdini Engine here into Unity, we need to install the Houdini Engine package. All right, so to do that, it's it's not in the package manager, though I wish it would was. That would be awesome. Um, I'm just going to go over here to the project tab and I'm going to right click and say import package. All right. And what we want to do is we want to go to our C drive and we want to go into the install directory for Houdini. So that's going to be uh, side effects here. And I'm going to go to the latest version because again, it has the PDG fix. All right. So 17.5.433. And I'm then going to dive into the Houdini engine. So when you install Houdini, you want to make sure that you check on the Houdini engine for Unity checkbox. All right. And then you'll have this engine folder. Same goes for Unreal. All right. So I'm going to jump into there and jump into the Unity folder and select the Houdini engine Unity package. Hit open. And after it processes here for a little bit, it's going to open up our asset browser here and just show us all the stuff it's going to import, which is great. Awesome. We're going to hit import and let it do its thing. All right, now it's all done. So you should have a plugins folder now that has the Houdini engine unity scripts and stuff in there. There's also some test HDAs and everything like that. All right. So you also have this Houdini engine option up here at the top, and this allows you access to lots of stuff right? like the PDG asset link. There's tons and tons of uh, features in here now, which is awesome. But let's turn our attention to Houdini Engine Sessions. All right, so currently, if we were to check our installation info, you can see that we're unable to detect the Houdini Engine installation. And that's just because we need to start a new session. All right, so let's close all the sessions first, just good practice, and then say Create Pipe Session. And if all goes well, you should see down here at the bottom a connection between Houdini Engine and Unity. There we go, so we have a new pipe session up and running. So now Houdini Engine is running and you can verify that by going to the installation info and you can see everything is found. Perfect. All right. So with that, we now have the Houdini Engine in place. Uh, we can always go and verify it again with the HDA, the test evergreen HDA. If you just drag and drop that into your hierarchy view, you'll be able to see a evergreen tree in the viewport. But you'll notice uh, first off, that my camera moves really fast, and that's because I currently have it on a really high value. There we go. Just need something like around three. That's pretty good. Cool. Um, you'll notice that the shader on the evergreen tree is pink, and that's because with the universal render pipeline, we have to create shader graph shaders for this to work. Now, this HDA hasn't been updated by side effects yet as of this recording to work with the universal render pipeline. All right, so that's why it's not working. Cool. So I just wanted to make sure that I pointed that out. All right. So with that, we are good to go. The Houdini engine is in fact running. Uh, we can change the scale of this guy in real time in the editor. Super cool. All right. So let's keep moving forward and move on to the next lecture.